Frio won the derby, boys. Frio won the derby. They won the derby. Frio won the derby. Frio won the derby. <laughs> Show us the hat, Jakey boy. Show us the hat featuring in today's it. Bloody oath, boys. Let's do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Crocs are back, boys. Crocs are back. <laughs> Crocs are back. How did you get the first? Did I just brown loafers? I'm tripping out. I'm tripping out, and it's episode 47 of the Mac Back Podcast. Right, let's get it. To the Mac Back Podcast. We're back. My name's Jake McKenna, and to my left, this week in order of the most successful body magic campaign so far, it's my little brother Joey Hoage. Boy, Jake, I'm going great. I'm feeling great. And you know, you say I'm the most successful, but I hope that's only when you're comparing me and you. Yeah, not everyone else down there. Big units with body magic, and coming in to my right, coming in at six foot one. As he does each and every week, it's the baby brother of the pack who we call Junior Boy. Junior Boy, how are you? I'm feeling good, and I've got some new drip boys. I've got the Crocs. Some sexy <laughs> I've brand new the Crocs. Crocs. I haven't seen Crocs in quite some time, but I'm pumped. Well, they're back, See baby. them back in circulation. Boys, we're chatting about body magic, which we've already made mention to. We're also going to discuss the spam calls and the oh, weird huh? text messages coming through. that we've been receiving during the week. We've got a debate on peanut butter. Do you prefer smooth or do you prefer crunchy? Which and is you better. have an everyday hero about a mullet man... And a chemist man, it's a massive app. Let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys. We're back, brother Mingos. How are we, brother Mingos? Great to be here. Great. Coming off a big win. Yeah, huge win. What a time to be alive. The um, boys. The boys have done it. We're Frio members, but we're Pies fans. Pies at heart. Pies are, well, yeah, it's an not, not this year. <laughs> We're pies at far. You've all heard, you've all heard the, the Paul Medhurst origin uh, tale. Fuck um, good. <laughs> but yeah, we're up and about. The Pies have had a huge win. They've broken the drought of the, 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 the Dockers. The, the free metal Dockers. Dockers. The Dockers, yeah. They've, sorry, they've broken the 11 win game drought from the West Coast Eagles. Against the Derby. Yeah, yeah, that's good on them. It's a long drought. It's Apparently insane. it's the, long, the longest drought like ever. 2015 was the last time they won. So yeah. I, I would have been in year 11 at the time. Oh, this is fun for no one. Um, <laughs> how old was I? I First was year uni and Riley would have been year seven. Good stuff, Joey. <laughs> Simpler times, eh, boys? <laughs> what a game as well. Caleb Sarong just doing all the year. Just doing whatever the, the fuck he now. Just doing whatever the fuck he wants. Um, I said I've said during the week. I've said it multiple times before. I th- I genuinely think, and this is a bit of a hot take. Take note. Here we go. Um, I think Fremantle will play better without. Like Nathan Fife is a fantastic player. I'll preface that. And he's probably one of the best that will ever wear the purple and white. What'd you just say? Freo play but better. I think Fremantle will genuinely play better football without him. There seems to be a reliance yeah. factor. I get what you mean, yeah. There seems to be a reliance factor. Like, I don't... Caleb Sarong is never having 32 and kicking two if you've got Andrew Brayshaw um, and Fife in the squad. It's there just, not, well, that's it's just like, not going on. Even even when um, when I was like a kid in like domestic basketball or whatever. Here we go. The All-Star like sits out for a game. The All-Star is like an eight-year-old, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone else... Yeah, you got to look yeah, up because you're like, oh, I, I got to actually do something. I can't just dish it off. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows this, especially in your, especially in your under eights basketball and netball. Yeah, <laughs> I, I <laughs> that's where heroes come to play. I'm finding it's it's definitely a big thing in footy as well because the teams are so like, because they are so big. Yeah. But you've always got like yeah, probably your five top tier players who yep. are going to do well each and every week. The lads on tour. Once they're out, it's like well, everyone sort of just steps up to that next level yeah. because yeah. the expectations are still there. Exciting news for Freo. So they've won that one. They now need, and I'm I'm gunning for them to make the eight because uh, we don't really have anyone to support. We're going to support, obviously, G- I'm a big GWS fan. I like GWS a lot. Ooh. And the Sydney boys, if Chad Warner can oh, yeah, crack yeah. back Chad into Warner. the 22. He hasn't played footy for the Swans in like many a while. Weeks, yeah, because I was now. watching a lot of those early games. But yeah. haven't in a while, yeah. Yeah, no, he hasn't played in a while, but hopefully he can get back into the track. And if go. he can play some finals games, that would be sick. Bang, we, bang, bang. We mentioned last week that the finals are going to be in Perth. Yep. I'm still holding strong on that. There you go. I think that'll be, I still think yep. that'll be. TikTok a going live tomorrow about that, Jakey boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty of hate mail. <laughs> yeah. There you know. go. Or love. Yeah. Or love. Who knows? So pretty, pretty big weekend for the Dockers, but anyone else get anything special? Riley, anything special on the table? Bloody oath, as you boys know. We shared it on the Instagram. Two-year anniversary with me and, oh, yes. me and the Olive. Yes, but congratulations. The, congratulations. The best part about the weekend <laughs> <laughs> has to be what I've copped from a gift. And it's the croc. The crocodiles. I the asked croc. for the croc because they're... You I asked for them. Are they not drippy? Yeah. I have to. I you were wearing them this morning. Yeah. Um, they look really nice. Yeah, especially the way I'm dripping. Especially with the socks. Exactly. And, you, and you wear the, 
I asked for the brown one. They're yeah. a dirt and brown. And you wear the strap. So the croc strap. <laughs> Not <laughs> to be confused with a jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> you wear it the, uh, at the front of the shoe opposed to the back. Wear is it that, up. Where are you meant to wear it? Uh, what is, it, what it is its function? So th- when you wear it like this with the strap forward, it's more of a slide. When you wear it back, it's more of a shoe. It's versatile. It sticks to your foot and there's no like... But when you like go like this, it's like a thong and you're like heel like... Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah. We, um, interesting. I remember yeah. when we were in like primary school or whatever, we, mom got us Crocs so to cool. wear to the beach yeah. and stuff. So cool. And at the time, <laughs> this is like Crocs had just dropped. <laughs> But they had a stigma around them early. Oh, they were not. Oh, yeah. Crocs. <laughs> Crocs definitely had a stigma around them early. And like you'd only have... There was no cool kids wearing Crocs. Yeah. That, I think that might have been... I have the, a theory the, the about bucket why. Issue. Yeah. Like you finish your stuff, Joe. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I remember we got them at first. And are you going to say they are incredibly comfy, yep. incredibly convenient, mm-hmm. great to wear to the beach because like thongs I find to be a, a bit of a pain. Yeah. I live in thongs. Thongs are elite. I hate thongs. Wow. Because, where they, because where the little thing in the thing. thing. Yeah. yeah, they cut the fuck Why out of your they, big toe. Especially, no. especially like we would buy like the like, <laughs> you know, like Havianas and they're yeah. like literally just like plastic and they would have like... But they cost a lot of money as well. Yeah, Havianas, why? The fact that Havianas cost like $100 a pair is beyond me. It's you just know, like silicon And rubber. on all of them, there's like one little strip where they... Exactly. Bang, bang. There's like in the little toe strip, <laughs> yep. there's like... I don't know how oh, the it's plastic not works. There's yeah. one like corner bit of the plastic that I don't know if they like wrap it around or whatever, and it Fuck sticks it. out and it just sticks into your toe. The school we used to go to, yeah, Queen of Apostles Primary. <laughs> Shout, Shout out Riverways. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the what eleven, eight year olds, yeah, <laughs> eleven. Well, everyone, and, yeah. A lot of people have the swimming carnival at the Riverton Ledgerplex. Yes, a classic. lot of schools. Shout out to the Riverton Ledgerplex. But it, it was in walking distance for us, and I remember one. Yeah, we walked there, and then I was wearing thongs, full sh- shredded my you feet. You walked? That's like five kilometers. Yeah, walk. fucking dogs. They didn't want to pay for a bus. So then I remember walking. And then I was swimming, and my feet were like, I was crying because the chlorine and the force of the water was like ripping the skin even more than it. Nice. That's what, that's oh, yeah, but the theory about the Crocs, yep. the reason why they're cool is because of Kanye West. Oh, but he's not wearing them. Oh, he doesn't wear these. He made his own Croc. It looks like Crocs. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I forgot the name of the shoe, but. Yeah, the Ike, and that's yeah. why they're coming back. And these are the cheaper versions. Yeah, those are like four hundred bucks. Well, I think well, I think I'm gonna go get a pair of Crocs. Yeah, this we're week. wearing or the backpack are in Crocs. Yeah, if you see us, if you, if you see anyone in Crocs, let's let them know that it's probably because of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the Croc fact. <laughs> magic. This is party magic. This is body magic. Magic, magic. Boys, 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 how was week one of body magic? Mate, it was fucked. Yeah, <laughs> it was so, it was was it? so tough. Um, it seemed like it was incredible. Today, we would have won. The, <laughs> let, me Jesus. Just, let me preface this by saying the excitement. Especially on Jake of going on the first day. Yeah, so day <laughs> completely <laughs> opposite to the events I was afterwards. Dreading it, man. <laughs> oh, I, you were dreading oh, it after or before? Before. Oh, really? Before and after. I thought you were keen before. No, no he was messaging me like throughout the day. <laughs> oh, is it too late to bail? <laughs> Actually, because wait, had you you had been eating the food that you had cooked? Yeah, so I'd cooked the food <laughs> on the <laughs> Sunday um, and was eating it, was it, and it was okay. Like, what'd you cook? Chicken stir fry. Chicken stir fry, chili chicken with veggies. Yeah. Um, some spaghetti. It all smelled really some, nice. Some organic spaghetti as well. So, so to give people um, who may not have listened to last week for some reason a uh, bit of a rundown. So essentially, day zero was last Sunday where yep. we got uh, like measured up, photos taken, went down to um. Woolies picked up all our picked King up our Boodle. food yep. to do uh, the, the meal, meal, prep. meal prepping. Yep. Um, so we're all, all ready to go on day zero, starting for day one, which would be obviously eating the food mm-hmm. and then heading down to uh, Jared's house for the first <laughs> session. Yep. Mate, it was incredible. So I'm at work on the Monday and I'm texting Joe going like, you pumped? He's like, yeah, man, it's fucking sick. And I was like, Right, I'm not feeling that vibe. Like I was, <laughs> I was quite scared at that oh, point. Really? Yeah, man, because I I've never done any of this before. It's a massive life change. So talk me through the first first training session. What did you get up to? Well, I called Joe on the way home okay. just to sort of yeah. just to preface that he was still keen to go. So <laughs> I, I was lucky to check if, if he wanted to bail first, and it doesn't look as uh, bad for me. Oh yeah, we'll do I it was there. lucky because <laughs> well, in two in two ways. One of them I hadn't mentioned it to anyone at work yet. Um, Keeping it a secret. Unlike Jake. Yeah, my whole the the whole the whole work family is well aware. All of my mates are well aware. The podcast community 
Well, we'd already recorded and done everything regarding that. We were locked in. 100%. And so we get home, we're ready to go. We get down there. A few of the boys are there. Craig and uh, Banjo are already there, like ready to rumble. Yep. Fucked up being helpful for the first week. My God. Oh, insane. I don't think we'd be able to do it without Because they've them. already done it, right? Yeah, yeah. And they actually have done like gym stuff before. Gym stuff, it's the yeah. first time I've ever picked up most of that stuff in that yeah. in that room. Um, so what are we benching, boys? That's the real So the first, the first <laughs> thing we did was a bench press. Hey! And, and I was like... Start strong, baby. Oh, you would have thought. And then... <laughs> so the boys... I think who were we with first? First guy. I think I was with... I was with Ben on the first night. So I was must be with, with Craig. Craig. And Craig can, Craig can like throw him around. <laughs> Which is yeah. quite a surprise to me. Yeah, but how much can you bench, Riley? Uh, look. Here we go. <laughs> a bench reveal. Uh, for reps, 55. Um, okay. Which is decent. That's, good. That's, good. That's a lot decent more than considering, considering, <laughs> yeah. decent considering my weight. And then... Um, <laughs> Very decent considering your weight. I don't think and I my work. one... I've only... I never do one rep maxes, but I was yeah. at my mate's house a few weeks ago before, at a pre, so I was getting a bit slosh, and I did 70 for one, which is pretty good. Jesus. Well, on the pierce as well. Yeah. So that's a few cruises there. It's like 30 on each so side. So I probably could do 10. more, yeah. No, nah, bar's 20, so. Oh, okay. Oh, the bar's 20. That, that's not bad. <laughs> that's <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going. Okay. Um, but yeah, the first the first times, it was just very technique based because yeah. obviously we've never really done this before. Yeah. But yeah. Um, struggle straight. And like I was fine bashing mm-hmm. out the first lot. Mind you, it was fuck all weight, if any weight, on the actual bar itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just I was just like, yeah, man, this is making 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 life pretty easy. Yeah. And we continued because there's a lot of circuit stuff, so you do like lots of different things. I think first day was like chest and arms. Yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't able to use either oh, yeah. of those for the rest of the week, <laughs> so that was sick. Done because obviously like dumbbell stuff. Um, yeah, lot lot of it. A lot of dumbbells. <laughs> so much. And just like these rippy cord things that like pull your chest. Yep. Man, there was so much going on. And then the was the, was the assault bike that night? Yeah, yeah, it was the bike. Fuck me. So, and also, we went for a run at one point. Which <laughs> was actually, do you run every right. time? No, we don't run oh. every time. Most times. I'm having flashbacks. Um, but see what we're So, yeah, so we're going through the night. And I guess it's because obviously we, we're writing down what our like PB is at each thing. Yes. Yeah. And so as the, as the day, as the hour goes on. The PB is getting smaller and smaller because yeah. like you move on to the next thing. You're like, man, I'm fucked from. Okay. Just as a guide, I didn't write down any PBs because I, <laughs> I, <didn't laughs> I, the- I didn't have the energy. I didn't have the energy in my hand to pick up a fucking pen and That's go. That's good though. You must be working hard. Oh, just harder than I ever have. Not necessarily hard yeah. in basis the room. So we're doing all the little circuit stuff, but I'm like really giving it a fair bit of like my all. Yeah. yeah. And then just- after about 25, 30 minutes, I've blown out. Like I've got nothing left in the tank, and I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> yeah. And all these like fit people around some, like, me jacked guys yeah man like, <laughs> like i thought it was everyone was gonna be like us <laughs> ben's using the bench press like he's throwing a cricket bat to the ceiling and back like he's making it look so effortlessly easy yeah and we're on this fucking assault bike yeah this is fun oh <laughs> man i would prefer to be assaulted than being on that bike again just quietly that so, is like, we finished, fucking what's in, an assault bike i don't even understand it's like an arm thing yeah, and then the bike's yeah. going as well and like there's oh. heaps of fans yeah if you're fan. good yeah if you're good the fan starts working. <laughs> yeah. the fan never well, went on like, i was I on, was on. <laughs> fuck so essentially what we did was we went around the whole circuit and then we had finished everything and then um yeah jerry was like oh like why don't you boys get on the bike and essentially he was like we want you all to get to 20 i think 20 no, calories it was, is it the was, measurement oh between no, this us one was 30 so it was like oh we're gonna get up to 120 yep. between us or 140 between us or whatever yep. just gun it as much yeah, as you can the four of us and then and then switch and then go on the elliptical or whatever. man that shit is <sighs> fucked so i did like 25 and then was like and like we're doing like in reps of three yeah I didn't do the last one, I reckon, because I was fucking scattered. I think I, w- so I, I was doing some of the the, the weight lifting and whatnot, and then I was like, Phew. the room felt really warm, and I started getting like pretty busy at about <laughs> the twenty five minute mark, and I was like, this is, it, is not it's a in good his start. garage, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the wind is the door cracked? Yeah, yeah. no, it's, yeah. it's short. The the garage door is shut when we're doing Ooh, stuff. That would get hot. It was all right, Sweet. but I was really hot. Smelly. No, no, it's not that bad. Must have some good air fresheners. And then, <laughs> so like we're doing it for a while, and I've hit the wall hard, and I'm looking around, going like, "Fuck!" Everyone else is like really just digging in. Yeah. And but not like pushing himself too hard. I'm definitely pushing myself <laughs> the mo- the most in there, which is so sad because like it, it's literally zero to one for me, and other people are doing like mad stuff, and I'm just like, "Man, this bar thing is fucking heavy, eh?" Hey? Fuck. And then after a while, because everyone's really like supportive and oh, everyone's like, so lovely. Yeah, they're fucking. 
fucking the best bunch Even of legends though, like, to be around. But they know that we're not Flash, mm-hmm. particularly me. I'm not a Flash, but they're yeah. like, yeah, come on, do it, do it, do it. And because it's so easy for them. But for me, it's like trying to fucking climb Everest. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I went out one point, at one point and I felt sick, but I couldn't, I couldn't like... Sum up what was going on. This is after the bike, right? Or was this before? (laughs) I think this was before. (laughs) (laughs) So I've just done like weightlifting. (laughs) 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 I'm just feeling like lightheaded, dizzy. My arms are beyond fatigue. Like I can't even lift them up anymore. I go out. I'm just holding onto his street pole (laughs) in the garden because I'm like standing there for ages and I'm like, Trying to, because I, I feel so <laughs> sick, but I couldn't vomit. Yeah. So there I am at about this is probably six thirty-five. Like the sun hasn't even set yet. I'm holding onto a street pole with my left arm, and with my right arm, I've got two fingers lodged like perfectly oh. down. Oh, my <laughs> tack <laughs> out. You're trying to tack. I'm out. trying to tack out just to <laughs> just to get, and I'm like. This is incredible. Like the only time I've ever had to have done this is when I've had like a great night on the turps. Yeah. And I've essentially I feel exactly the same way, except I've had You've none had of fun. I've <laughs> had yeah, I've had none of the great times. I've just hurt myself. <laughs> Fuck. He comes out after like oh I've only been out there a few minutes and he's just like, Yo good and I was just like Oh man, I feel so sick. And he just come over and goes, I think this is a record, eh? I was like, What do you mean? And he's just like, Well, we haven't even done any cardio stuff yet. <laughs> and you're vomiting. And I was like, oh, well, I haven't vomited yet, like not through fault of trying. Go back <laughs> go back in there. We did more shit. Then I get on the assault right. bike. Yeah. Oh my god, that thing. I don't I would have put up the most pathetic performance on the thing. And have reacted <laughs> so, so, <laughs> <laughs> so badly. Like, I, I've walked out of the garage again. At this point, I don't think anyone's walked out once. I'm out there like a frequent flyer. I'm on the curb. <laughs> <laughs> Jared's dad came home. <laughs> like, just like dying. I think you might have been out there at this point. So after this, when we did this, yeah, when we did the bike, because that's another thing with the bike is like you st- start going and you're like, you feel like you could just gun it. No, I didn't. And then, like, you just go. And then it really hit me after. I was like, that was not, <laughs> that was not good. And so I've walked out. Joe's already, like, I'm <laughs> vomiting. The, Were you vomiting? No, I, didn't, I didn't vomit. He was so. doing something on the fence. And <laughs> I've, come, saying, I've yeah. come out onto the road. <laughs> and I've gone up to next to that pole again that I've just used as, like, a... Your pole. Yes, yeah, an infinity yeah. pole where I can get some fucking strength. I'm standing next to that. And I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to vomit now. And my legs had just... So much lactic acid in them, they're just giving out. And like, <laughs> yeah, I can no longer, my arms don't work, my legs are broken, and I'm just on the floor up against this pole, basically groveling around in soil, like in his actual garden bed. Yeah. It's 6.45, and it's just like still but broad daylight, and I'm just like groveling around. At that point, I'm sitting there going, we can't do this. Like, <laughs> we, it's over. We did one <laughs> session. I've made all this food. <laughs> and I cannot do another day. Yeah. And immediately the only thing that made me like stand up was the thought that we'd already st- I told too many people to then back out. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there thinking like, I've just, I can't, I can't not rock up tomorrow. Like I've told every person I know that yeah, I'm you doing this. Feel like, oh no, it didn't pan out. And I did yeah. it so that I was accountable. So that yeah. if that was to happen, so yeah, and it happened quick. It happened yeah. a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> he comes out and he's like, you're a good man. And I was like, no, he goes. Oh, look, you're up against your, you, right next to your, um your favourite spot again. <laughs> it's just like me groveling around in the in the dirt. Fuck. And then he goes, oh, just, and I can't stand. Like I cannot get up physically by myself because I can't use my hands because they no longer work. My whole arms don't work. My legs are like shaking like nothing <laughs> else. And he comes out and he's like, so he helps me up. I'm basically in tears at this point, just like <laughs> hating life. I've done, I've done 40 minutes of exercise in 18 months and I would actually rather kill myself. And he helps me up. I'm like, oh, thanks, man. He goes, go go for a run to that pole and back. And I've just off. let out this yeah. massive laugh. And he goes, no, seriously. And I was like, get fucked. Like there's no <laughs> way I can, I can't even walk to that pole and back. And then you start like putting well, yeah, in some job. I, I was sitting down um, at this point. I was leaning over the fence for a while. Yeah. I then sat down and then he came over and yeah, he was like, he was like, <laughs> help me up. And he was like, he goes, you're just going to have to go for a jog down the, down the street. He was genuine. And I was kind of like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but then he explained it to do with like the lactic acid, the lactic acid, acid and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, he's using some words. 
You gotta trust him. Jesus. Bloke must be right. So and I jogged down the street. Yeah. And then I actually felt amazing afterwards. And he's smiling and jogging. And Joe's like, do it like Joe's doing it. And I'm like, man, there's no way I'm lifting my knee. Like I'm walking with flat stick legs. Yeah. And I feel like I'm Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, current day, just like beyond <laughs> hurt. Just like knees Blobbing don't around. work, legs don't work. And then he's like, lift lift your knees. And I'm like, lifting them as high as I can. And they're like hardly getting off the ground. And he's like, run, run. I'm like, oh, I can't. I actually can't run. I've not never happy. felt more sad and embarrassed and just not not good at all. My favorite was when you got um. <laughs> Because yeah, Joe well, came in, thing, so. Joe came in, and I was eager to see how you guys went. <laughs> I did not come in. And Joe came in, and I was like, "Oh, Joe's here. Where's Jake? Maybe Jake's putting in some extra yarn." Oh Jesus, was I ever extra push up? I couldn't drive. It's minute. It's a minute drive. It couldn't. Well, I've be any, driven. Yeah, it couldn't be. Yeah, I. Had, it couldn't be any closer to our house unless he was our fucking neighbour. <laughs> like if it was any closer, we wouldn't need a car. Like it would be. It would take longer to get in the car yeah, than to. It'd drive. be rude to drive. And we get into the car and I'm not feeling well. I haven't really said thanks or bye to anyone. Like I'm just, I'm in survival mode. It's sink or swim. And at the moment I'm sinking fast. We get in the car and I said to Joe, mate, I don't, I don't know if I can drive home. And he's like, what do you mean? I, go, I can't lift my fucking arms above, like high enough to get to the steering wheel. I'm holding the steering wheel by the base with one hand. We finally get home. Nearly, I actually nearly, I hit so many curbs, like the roundabouts just didn't go around. I couldn't have, <laughs> couldn't get the energy to go around the roundabouts, just bouncing off curbs. We get home, Joe's like, you're good? And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm just going to sit here for a while. I, I was sitting in the car for like 10, 15 minutes. Then dad finally come out and was just like, you're good? And I was like, ah, nah, I think this will be it for the night. I reckon I might just purge out, grab us a pillow. I had come in and... Dad's giving it like, oh, how'd you boys go? And I'm like, yeah, not great. Really not great. Couldn't have been even, much worse. Any worse, I was dead, I think. That's even to the point where dad, I'm like, yeah, like Jake's still in the car. And then dad was like, going to go out and like. Lift him. No, oh, dad rev was going to go out and rev him to yeah. him. Like, oh. make fun of him. I'm like, no, I think like. It's pretty serious. He's like, really not. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> like, yeah, Jake. And he comes <laughs> out, he comes out. I hand him. Like my shit, yeah. and then I've tried to walk to my walk inside the house, and it, I felt I was like in the kitchen, and all I heard was, uh. <laughs> and I've just made my way like to my room the quickest way possible, and I felt, you know, when you get really pissed and you have like a big night, and it's like two, three o'clock in the morning, and you feel terrible, yes. and you can't really see what's going on around you, you're just thinking, you're all inside your own head, yeah. and it's just like, why? the The mission is to get to the bed. And that's all I'm going to fucking do. Yeah. That's exactly how I felt. I've never felt so drunk without drinking <laughs> in my fucking life. Walked into my room. Yeah. And like straight line, just down the hall, into my room, hit the bed, shoes still on, fetal position. I don't know where my phone was, but I couldn't, I didn't have the strength to pick it up and text anyone. Yeah. So it's just like laying on the bed with me. <laughs> I don't remember the next hour. Like I, you just asleep. yeah. Because we got home. I remember we got home at like seven eleven. I vividly remember that yeah. number because I thought that might have been time of death. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've gotten to my bed, and then I think yeah. I've I must have fallen asleep. But it felt like I was a aw- I don't know. It didn't feel like I was awake, but I was just gone. Like I was just like unconscious, yeah, not I was, asleep because I wasn't and tired. And it takes me hours to get to sleep. I walked in. Yeah, I don't. I walked that. in. I don't remember any then of that. Then you woke up. I you woke, woke I up when I walked in, didn't you? I, I remember mum coming in and I walked up, yeah. I got up then. Oh, it was eight thir- it was eight thirty. Jared had sent multiple messages to us to yeah, make so sure Jared that we were had, still like sucking oxygen. Jared made like a group chat with just us three. <laughs> and it was like <laughs> him and like the two losers. <laughs> <laughs> just it's called deadbeats. <laughs> he was like yeah, great work to no guys, like good, you know. Good first session or whatever, like it's gonna suck. Was it Jared? It was gonna <laughs> suck for, for the first two weeks or whatever. But once you get the, the swing of things, it'll be good. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, like thanks, <laughs> thanks, like you know, see you tomorrow. And then he was like, yeah. And then, then he checked in. He was like, how's he, Jake? He was like, is Jake still alive? Like <laughs> Jake. Then I was like, oh, I think he's gone to bed. It was, it was like it's like an hour. We and had and left a half. his house like half an hour ago. I didn't reply to. I woke <laughs> up at like eight thirty. I was. Mm-hmm. Absolutely <laughs> scattered, 
absolutely scattered. We went back the following. I didn't want to go back. I oh, yeah. You, yeah. I was so not keen to go back on the Tuesday and the Wednesday. The Tuesday was bad. Tuesday was legs. Oh, no. And my legs does suck. <laughs> especially when, like, my knees are fucking heinous. And my, we're doing squats with weights. And he just looks at me, do, do a squat, and my knees are just like, Pe- just yeah. shaking like nothing else and he's just like <laughs> you know what let's just do some like no weighted no, no. squats and just work on the fact that your knees look like they might shatter at any given point in time I vomited that night <laughs> and there was again no cardio that I properly vomited <laughs> where did you vomit wait did Craig vomit this night as well yeah yeah it was a big it was a big one was it on the bike no, I didn't get to the bike. I was just doing the... I think Craig threw up after the bike. I was just doing the squats, man. And I just you went... Threw up <laughs> from squats? <laughs> yeah, man. Literally just like and no, up. Yeah, and no weights. And like doing... <laughs> yeah. I was doing like rehab exercises, like sitting to standing squats because I couldn't put like a weight on and do them. <laughs> and I'm just like basically just standing up and then sitting down and then standing up and then sitting down and then standing up and then vomiting. And then I was like, oh no, this is not pretty... Because he was showing you one of the exercises. And you know when someone's talking to you and you really want to listen, but there's just so much more going on in your head and in your stomach that you can't? Yeah. I just sort of looked at him and gave him this blank gaze. And he goes, you get it? And I was like, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> just like walk. He goes, go for it, man. Go. And go, I was go, like, go. ran out of sight and immediately just chundered all over the soil out the front. Yeah, where have you been vomiting there? <laughs> I've only like vomited once, just for the record. Good. Um, in the and I mate, Thurs- I really didn't want to go Wednesday, and I really didn't want to go Thursday. Loved it. They were they were they fucking were super. Were fu- they were super fun. Didn't vomit. Didn't feel sick at all. Good stuff. So I feel Saturday like Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah, Saturday morning was real tough. Just quickly, we'll finish up on this. Saturday morning was like a it was a big competition type day, right? How was it? But ultimately, you're competing against yourself. So like Whoa. next week Whoa. or whenever we do the same exercise <laughs> again. Work, Joe boy. Work. You see the improvement. Yeah. So it's not like he's like pitting us against each other. Come on, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, I really don't like mornings. And Tuesday, Wednesday morning when I've got this... I, Okay, I don't like milk. I never drink milk, period. I've never had a protein shake in my life, period. I don't really get up. This is the earliest I've ever gotten up, (laughs) ever. (laughs) This is the earliest I've ever gotten up, ever. Now, I'm doing all of those three things, like, in the cold morning on, like, Tuesday morning, feeling like I'm about to vomit my fucking hole up. Yeah. Just thinking, this is, this is next level stuff. And then, like, Wednesday, Thursday come along and I'm progressing a bit. Saturday was a bit of a, a bit of a check back to reality again because we do this run and again I don't like mornings and it's an eight a.m. session and the next thing you know like we get there eight oh one we're running yeah. by eight oh two because we leave home at seven fifty nine and we're running we're running at like eight, eight pa- like five past eight yeah. and I'm just like I would literally rather be anywhere else and then it's we come back that's just like the warm up yeah run. we do a warm up lab yeah and then it's like okay you get like a minute to break and then it's like okay now it's, now we're gonna like real pace and I was like whoa it's not that much difference <laughs> for me at the moment <laughs> and so we're running and I'm by far the last bloke I think it went the whole group of boys and like girls and like fit guys and everyone up the front then Joe then quite a quite a gap then me and then two ladies behind me and I was like as long as I'm not last I'm fine with that as long as I'm not last I don't mind and then after a little while, I just hear... Because I could hear them chatting. And then they stopped chatting. Oh, no. And... They're dead. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then one of them comes. I could hear her, like, getting closer and closer and closer. And I was like, oh, who's going to try... Who's trying to be the hero here? And, like, <laughs> overtake me. <sighs> and and she, I could just... And, and just pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. And I'm like, oh, goodness gracious. I don't know if I have this in me. And then she goes, I'm, get, I'm trying to catch you. And I was like, oh. fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and I've turned around to see who it is. And it was this lady. And she might be one of the oldest people in the class. And she's probably like closer to mum's age bracket than ours. Yeah. And she's like fucking credit to her. She's killing it, man. Oh, yeah, she's... Her. And uh, yeah, it's going so well. And then she runs next to me and she's gone way quicker than I am. Like could have easily overtaken me and just pushed me to run at the same pace as she did. Cause the last thing I wanted to do was come <laughs> last behind <laughs> someone who is probably two, two and a half times my age. Oof. And I was just like, got that. This, this could be, 
this could be anything. And we like raced all the way to the end. And Who then we won? got, and I didn't, I didn't want to, like, I, I, said this, beat her. I said this to you before. I didn't want to beat her because I could have sprinted through the end. But yeah. that's, Jake said this to that's me a dog act. On, you can't be doing that. I don't know if it was on Saturday that you said to me, but yeah, I mean, I could have smoked her if <laughs> that's I wanted to. Not what I said. <laughs> anyway, we ran together and it was quite a. Was it reminding you of how. Gave uh, her a big high five once we got to the end. It was just like, look at us. You're saying both. We're so fit <laughs> for our age. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, I've been getting some texts this week. Yeah. I'll, have, I'll have a text. Congratulations. <laughs> Pop it loud. Yeah, I'm, I've actually been blowing up. Let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in a row. What the fuck? Um, different numbers? Yeah, different numbers. All about my voicemails. Yeah, I've been getting the same ones. So I think there is a. So what's bit been of happening, boys? What's it's been a happening? Spam text. It's a spam text guy. Yeah, there's a spam thing going on. And oh, th- no. they send these messages, and it's just like. 4HJ3IO, voicemail, message received, visit, and then it's just this weird email address before it's automatically deleted. I don't have a voicemail account, um, and I'm getting a text message every on the hour. Yeah, every hour. What the fuck? This is a cute one. Have you gotten this one? Have you ever clicked on them? No. Read this one out. This one sounds interesting. Hi there. Do you need part-time job? Question mark. Monthly salary, 6000 to 30000 Not a- bad. AUD. <laughs> 500 per day at least. No service charge. Easy job. Can do at home. If you are interested in this job, please contact WhatsApp. And then it's a phone number. Can you sell that to me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty it's a good. Phone number. Sounds like a fucking good deal. Uh, the boy, One of the boys that I work with yeah. um, got that text as well. Now exact I'm reading. same one. Yeah, but I got that today. He got that on Friday when we were sitting around. So they're still looking for people. Lunch. Definitely send that through. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely been a thing. I haven't um, got any. Oh yeah, so none. So my question is because I've seen because I've looked into it and there's been a few articles during the week like sort of ratting yep. it out and saying like this is the deal. Yeah. I want to know how they get our number hmm. because surely they're not just like fluking that. They must be on a server somewhere that they've just automated. And especially if you're not getting them, there must be something that we've subscribed to. Yeah. That you haven't. I was also part of a data breach on like the password thing have you seen that oh yeah which which thing every time i use like a specific um password to log into all my accounts which it's on most of our accounts yeah um it comes up and is just like yeah this password has been hacked and it i can't remember what it was called but there was a genuine thing that like yeah came out. Came. yeah so i don't maybe it's from that maybe maybe it's from that i did think it was probably that safe app Thing? Safe WA. Yeah, but Joe's, Joe's poo pooed that. Do they even need your number for that? Safe WA. Yeah, they do need it because okay. it's for the contract tree. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've been, but you've been safe, I haven't been getting safe any spam texts or nothing. Yeah, he's on the safe one. Do you want me to forward, I'll forward you their number and you can you can start the conversation. That's so weird. Reach wonder, out. Why are you guys getting it but not me? Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. Okay, so we do at work, I, I pick these up. I've got a bit of a keen eye for these. Mm-hmm. At work, we do um, essentially like fishing training. Yeah. So these are called phishing texts, where oh. essentially what they'll try and do is get you to click on a link. Reel you in. Um, yeah, exactly. They're, they're putting out bait to reel yep. you in. So yep. they want you to click on the link, then that'll take you to an, some unsafe website where they might be able to get you to put in your details mm-hmm. to log into something. And essentially, you're just giving them your email and password. Oh, scum. I got a one similar a while back for the ATO. Yeah. There was some, something about my like tax account. Yeah. Um, and it was like, oh, here, you got to click on this to log in because it's expired. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's weird. I didn't think it's expired. Like your tax phone number. What expired? No, it was like my mic. Something to do with my MyGov account. Okay. So what they, what they did, but then what I did was I searched up, I went to like mygov.com. I went through it that way. Yeah. Because that way you're not going into the unsafe environment oh. that they're putting out. There. One step ahead of the game, Joey. Do you reckon anyone clicks on the links? Surely. Surely. People Seriously? Would. People would. Like old oh, people. Yeah, 100% people yeah. would. I would click on that money link. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone says easy job can work from home 30k an hour. Where I'm, do, in. Where <laughs> I'm in. G'day to all you Friday fiends. Don't forget to share this set with just one of your mates so they can join in on the Friday fun. Or if you're a true Friday fiend, share it to your Instagram story and really let the masses know you're a true day one. All right, boys, this week we asked Australia, do you prefer peanut butter smooth or crunchy? Boys, what do we reckon? I got to go crunchy. 
I think I'm a smooth. I think I'm a smooth guy myself. I don't think I've ever had crunchy. Yeah, that was a, that was part of my when Jake put up process. the story. I was like, "That's crunchy." Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I've only heard about it recently, which made me What's ask in the, the question crunch? because I hadn't really. I think we we're pretty smooth. We're a smooth household here. We pretty are slick. Um, I like that. But I believe Crunchy, there will, there's a massive demand for Crunchy because Crunchy had 55% of the votes while Smooth had 45% That's pretty split. of the votes. Yeah, it is. But I reckon Crunchy could go ham, especially in like a sandwich or something. Oh, Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> well, obviously, we're, <laughs> we're a smooth household. We are. Yeah. So well, the, part of the reason why I pick Crunchy is it's a bit of a treat. Yeah. <coughs> it's a little bit something different. The, the Crunchy adds a little bit of spice. Spice? Yeah. <laughs> no, spice is in like it makes it interesting. Oh, uh, okay. Like you spread a smooth thing out on a bit of toast, you know what you're getting? Smooth peanut butter, the whole way across. But you've got the crunchy. It's not like a consistent. Oh, it's, like a, it's mystery. It's not like a consistent crunchiness. Yeah, I know what it's you good. Mean. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. And so, how does it work? Is it smooth with just like bits of crunch in it? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. I have okay. a question. Is it similar? Because you know how like cookies and cream. You yeah, eat? yeah, sort of like that. Yeah. So then, but you like when you get those big cookies. Oh. I don't think they have any as big as those. But, but do they have like big crunches where you're like, oh, like a full, oh! like a full, a full nut? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a full <laughs> yeah. peanut. Just a big, it's just a big peanut M&M. Oh. Um, <laughs> you said I think you said that Nan used to. Well, rep. that's the thing. Nan I, used to rep. Nan, we, Nan's nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Jelly boy we, like that one. We used to. Um, we're, we are a smooth household. Yeah. Yes. And we used to have. Say that again. I don't think you've said it enough. Nan, times. Nan was a crunchy household. Oh, okay. Must so it must nice. be from from dad's side. This is where we get our smoothness. <laughs> smoothness. There you go. So we would go over there, and Nan would Nan would fix us the peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Nan used to peanut butter toast, and it'd be crunchy. And I remember at first thinking like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's happening?" <laughs> <laughs> that it was crunchy. Peanut yeah, because it's like you're like eating the sandwich. Because yeah. it's like. <laughs> it's like what, what the hell? What the fuck is that? I do remember now that you do, now that you do bring it up. Nan must have had the crunchy stuff because, but I didn't know that it was necessarily crunchy stuff. Yeah. I thought it was just old. old? Yeah, because yeah. I do remember eating like peanut butter toast, and it being gristly is the way that I would term like, it. Like and I was like, what the fuck this shit? And like. Nan used to buy specific breakfast foods just for us when we used to come over. Cocoa Pops. Yeah. And sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they would go, not off. Yeah, because well, no one else is eating them. Yeah. Yeah. We don't sleep over all the time. And Joe, well, not so much now, especially. And then, so Joe, you, you, you were a big peanut butter guy. Like was, massive, yeah. massive. Go Joey for the boy. Shoot. I was, I could I like, still am. I could pick and mix. Yeah, I haven't had it um, in a while. So, when we were eating like the peanut butter stuff there, I was just like, and it was like, because I wouldn't say it was crunchy. It was not like full nuts. It was just like a little bit of, I don't even yeah, know. That's what, you call what it is. It's like sand. It's like gristle on the peanut butter. Yeah, is what it's I remember. Like, it's not like there's oh, whole nuts in there. It's that's just like, strange. So it's like bumpy. It's not even like. It's kind of like yeah. It's like it's like <laughs> if you compare like white bread to wholemeal. It's a bit like I think it's a bit like <laughs> if the texture. You know when you've got like a piece of bread. If yep. you were to then like carve it off with the knife and you get like that weird. Breadcrumbs? Yeah. It's a bit like that, eh? Oh, it's like extra breadcrumbs. Sort of. That's, <laughs> That's how I remember it anyway. And I th- I just always thought that Nan's peanut butter was a little bit old. <laughs> yeah. And that it just sort of matured itself and become a little bit bit, well, gr- that, bit grisly, a bit sandy. And that is the thing, like, especially at Nan's in particular, like she would have like the salt reduced tomato sauce. Yeah. Sh- yeah. She was a stickler for... That's in general, just when you go to someone else's like family house or their house, like, and they, they, they have... Shit. Yeah, like weird, like different brand... Yeah. yeah, like they got Sam's chips. Yeah, but like um, what are those other ones? Uh, people used to eat Sam Boys. No, no one eats Sam Boys. <laughs> yeah, but they're just I don't even know what the fuck that is. Sam Boys chips are not good. <laughs> I think they're just around. Sam Boys <laughs> chips are really bad. <laughs> what was the one that we used to kettle? Kettle chips used to get. kettle oh, go kettle hard. chips slap. Kettle no. salt. Yeah. Oh my Because they're so hard, and crunchy. They have like genuine salt, like. Salt, chips, salt, salt bays, rocks. like salt sitting, bays. yeah, salt rocks on the chips. No, no, they taste soggy. I feel like kettle chips. I think we've discussed this before. No, that's silly. CC's. You're a silly boy. CCs are soggy. No, I think that's just when you get to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got we, some great replies. Yeah, we had some fantastic ones. Mum, we'll start off with mum. She goes, "The little lumps are annoying." <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> that's why we don't have it in this yeah. household. <laughs> 
Cragsy had a great one. Cragsy did have a great one. I'm it was along to... the similar vein to a lot of what the lads have sent in. I'll go with Benny's yeah. first because Ben Ben was the first person to send in a message to add um, yeah. something this. of this vein. He goes, there's a time and place for both, but I just really like the feeling of nuts in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good, you go. good on you, Ben. Yeah, Cragsy, Cragsy just went nut, <laughs> nuts in your mouth. Yeah, everyone loves that. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, shout out to um, one listener. We got Kozo coming in. Neither because I'll die. He's got oh, a peanut allergy. Yeah, that's fair, fair enough. enough. That's fair. Some chick said because crunchy just adds that extra sum sum. The old razzle dazzle you feel. I do. I do. I agree. do feel, but uh, I've don't never know, had it. Don't know who that is, but I appreciate that. <laughs> we response. love. Yeah, love the response. Josh De Cruz. Then no I haven't had peanut butter. Just wanted to respond to you, King. And that's <laughs> what we love. <laughs> There's another that's one. That's what we love. Here There's we another one in there saying, "I think I've had peanut butter only once. Why is it a thing?" Oh, like, that's Bojana. Yeah, I didn't know who we giving her another shout out. Oh my it's god, like every week. Shout out to Boge, <laughs> biggest fan. The weekly Boge shout out. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a she's a legend. Yeah, good on you, Boge. She commented on our latest post. She goes, "I got a shout out two weeks in a row." Well, now Boge, got the hat got trick, the hat trick. trick. <laughs> Live it up, Boge. <laughs> the air horns for you, Boge, Anna. Um Friend of the show. Tell me. Tell me Ginger Orange. I can't remember. What one did he vote for? Because he's gone, I'm not a murderer. He was our England correspondent. Yeah, no, I know who he is. Our <laughs> Mike Rona. I'm, I'm just letting the fans know. Oh, okay. I don't know what he voted for, though. He goes, I'm not a murderer. I reckon he voted for Smooth. What does that mean? I'll have a quick what does that mean? He's implying that someone would have to be cr- crazy to have the other yeah, one. Yeah, gotta be crazy. Uh, what, other, what other responses have we got, Riley? Let's wrap shit up. Here we go. Uh, Crunchy is made for real men. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> being what, being a real man, it'd be you tough do, to yeah. be able to handle the crunch. <laughs> Crunchy texture just brings a new element that no other spread has. Joe mentioned That's this true. earlier. Is there a crunchy veggie mite? Is yeah. there a crunchy Can you butter? Do that well, crunchy well, jam. <laughs> <laughs> Jam's got like weird floaty bits in it. Jam's gross. That's probably just a <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> Boys, I want to take you back. We're going back to my primary school days. Queen of Apostles, as I mentioned <laughs> earlier in the show. episode. I don't think we've spoken about our primary school Shot once. In <laughs> 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 Good place I don't to th- be. I don't think we've spoken about our primary school once in, what, 47 episodes. And we've dropped it twice. Bang, bang. In this ep- I like welcome. it, I like it. Radio, so I'll take you back. I was in year two or three, maybe. Semantics. And, you know, in primary school... Shit go like some shit just pops off. I'm actually <laughs> thinking of another one right now that will come up in a few weeks. But um, right. you know how there's like trends in writing it down. You know, that, yeah. <laughs> you know how there's like actually I've got one. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dang boys, we're getting content just from me talking about it. Um, you know how like <laughs> trends happen, like Pokemon cards were big. Yep. At some yep. stage, like footy cards. Yep. A lot of cards. You guys <laughs> you <should> just <laughs> mention cards. <laughs> yeah, there's like shit happens and then like everyone's talking about... If everyone's talking playing. to town, yeah. Yeah, and I remember when I was in year three, I believe. Uh, let's go year three. We'll lock in year three. Beyblades. Yeah. Who Beyblades remembers Beyblades? Bay, 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 let it rip. Bang. If you don't remember Beyblades, I don't know who you are. Shout out to, you know, Braden. We can shout him out. He's a fan yep. of the show. I um, own his old car. <laughs> you do. Um, Brayden has a. I'm sure he's got a Beyblade Bay tattoo on him. <laughs> oh, that's B. I think it says "Let it rip." I'll flick that's him. A, I'll flick him a message during the week. It's on the this, screen. This is one of the many things that we say we're gonna do if we ever get around to it. It'll be sick. I'll flick him a message. See if he can send it through. I'm. I'm pretty sure he got it done. That's sick. He's got. Wait, some is it of the toy or is it of the like? Do that thing. I don't know, but I'm sure it says "Let it rip" on it. That's cool. That is sick. I'll check in. I'm. I'm. He either sent it to the chat as like a "This would be funny," or he actually got it done. He got silver sushi tattooed on his. And he, he gets, gets free, free silver. <laughs> he gets free yeah. sushi. Yeah, we will address oh, yeah, that. He gets like ten percent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless. Yeah, he's doing well. Righty, yeah. So year three, Beyblades were the thing. They were the thing going around. But um, when you're in year three, low economic funds coming in. Yeah, tick. Not a lot of money. Yeah. And lack of transportation. Yeah. So it's tough to get the Beyblades. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's always tough to get the Beyblades because you've got to convince mum to take you to the local Toys R Us. Yeah. Yep. You've got to convince mum to fork out some cash <laughs> to buy you some little plastic Beyblades yep. or metal ones, depending on how ritzy your family <laughs> is. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> throw back to when I didn't have any Beyblades. Yeah. <laughs> And because we, we, we used to like not have because they have like plastic arenas that you can do it in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the babies don't go flying off yeah. like tables. 
but this was in a humble <laughs> beginning. So <laughs> this we were using street play. play. Yeah. <laughs> this is street play, boys. <laughs> we were using like just a little school desk in the middle of like the locker, at the bags area. Yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> what a great place. And um, <laughs> so they were letting them rip. It was all the boys in the year above us because they were, must have had their license or a lot of money <laughs> in year four. What? The year four boys were living it up. And they had a lot of, some of them had like a lot of bag layers and they're whipping out the collection and they're going like this one against you, da, da, da. And then they're like, had like these big tournaments. And I remember one day they were going and all the boys in my year were watching. We were like, fuck, this is sick. Like, we got to get onto this. <laughs> but none of us had Beyblades yet. And one of them ripped the Beyblade and then I think he walked off or he left the Beyblade sitting there. Oppor- <laughs> Opportunist, I reckon. And because your boy came from humble beginnings, he did have to borrow the Beyblade. Wait, you or the other guy? Me. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I did snag this guy's Beyblade. Put it, <laughs> <laughs> put it in my pocket. And then just took it home for a little bit just to let it rest. And then a, like a week or two <laughs> went by. A week, week or two went by. I did end up with Beyblades. Got some... Little things that make it rip as well. All the boys were getting Beyblades. We'll bring them all to school now. And I was like, I think I just had plastic ones. And they weren't competing with the metal ones because they would get slapped around. Yeah. But the one I stole <laughs> was, <laughs> was a metal Bor- one. It went from borrowed to stole pretty <laughs> quick. Did you notice that? The one I grabbed <laughs> was a metal one. So I did have to bring it to school. I remember it was blue on the outside, red in the middle. Very now, cool. It was like Optimus Prime. It was the Optimus <laughs> Prime of Beyblades. And... um. <laughs> And so I did have to bring it to school one day and then we were all letting it rip and one of the teachers was l- like on looking and like, damn, like, oh, this is what, this is what all the kids do. Like, like well, what's happening? And then he was like watching us, watching us play. And then the kid in the year above me came back and was like, hey, no. the guy whose Beyblade that's it was. That's my Beyblade. <laughs> oh. And he tried to get it. Like, he was like, that's my Beyblade. Like, game. T- and then the teacher was like, chill. Like, this is his, this kid's Beyblade. I watched him bring it. I watched him go get it out of his bag. <laughs> like, chill. Don't be trying to steal this kid's Beyblades. And I just put it in my pocket. But did he try to grab it from middle Went of the about game? My day. Yeah, he was <laughs> like, that's my Beyblade. I lost it. It has the same scratches. And I was just like, hmm. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. <laughs> And I walked away. <laughs> and I walked away with full hand. He walked away empty handed. <laughs> I walked away with one extra Beyblade. <laughs> All right, boys, it's time for our favourite segment each and every week. It is time for our. So, everyday hero. Junior Boy, take it away. As you guys know, but the fans of the show might not know. And, but that might not. But they <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But they might have heard. I've been coughing a lot in recent episodes. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I've much. Was diagnosed. it two weeks ago that you coughed like down my there throat? It was like five weeks ago where I was like really coughing a lot and I had like tea. And then there was like another <laughs> two weeks ago where I was yeah, coughing. Yeah, you had a tea yeah, fucking ages ago. I had bronchitis. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know I had bronchitis. <laughs> and I went to the doctor, got antibiotics, finished the antibiotics, and then I returned to normal health. They got. Bronchitis again Part It didn't two. go away <laughs> And now I'm on really strong <laughs> antibiotics And it's still Anti- sticking around Antibiotics over. Anyway but your, your cough is so bad that <laughs> So like at Me and Riley's rooms are next to each other And he goes to bed quite a bit later than I do But sometimes I'll hear him just like Sounds like he's dying in his <laughs> oh room Oh yeah it, sound, it feels like I'm going to throw up And like the first <laughs> night It was really bad me, Jake, and Dad were all in there like, are you okay? Like, what's yeah, that's yeah, right. You now guys got like a bucket. Like, I'm like, can he shut the fuck <laughs> up? <laughs> we get it. <laughs> Bronchitis, we heard, we heard. Anyway, because I've been getting prescribed a lot of antibiotics, I've been spending a lot of time with the chemist recently. <laughs> Good time. And I've stumbled out. across a few everyday heroes. A few? <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> but this man... Is is crazy to me. It's crazy to me the things. Oh, well, it's not crazy to me, but it was just it was good to see. What chemist? Chemist up at Livingston. Livingston. Yep. The farm. What's that? Seven. It's triple know. sevens. Wizard. Terry White. We've learned <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> one of the three. There we if go. Any of you want to sponsor us, <laughs> please. <laughs> Antibiotics would be good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was just chilling in there the other day. You know how like you give them your script and then they're like, yeah, it'll give us like it'll like take us ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. Why does it take them ten minutes? They go grab a box and give it to you. Do First they? of all, I'm not sure. Sometimes they mix stuff up, and then you get the right dosage. Yeah, but like it's already prescribed. It's in a box. Yeah, they're not making the tablets. Yeah, and they're stuff not like the they literally just like go and grab the box. Sometimes they do. They always do. It's a mystery. Maybe <laughs> anyway. ask next time you there. Go. Why is it going to take ten minutes, bro? Anyway, <laughs> maybe they need to get the because uh, obviously not everyone who works at the counter is a pharmacist. So maybe they need to get it okay approved by the actual. 
So I was um listening. I was just in there with my AirPods in after the ten mi- after you told me I have to wait ten minutes. I was like, fair enough. I'll just sit here amongst the sick people and <laughs> wait patiently. Just incubate. And I was just standing there and I was just, <laughs> <laughs> just like looking around. You guys have bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? <laughs> just watching the people come in and out of the shop. And then everyone else was pretty normal, pretty casual, just sick people trying to get some drugs. <laughs> you know <And> what it is. <laughs> yeah. But then there was this couple that 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 I wasn't expecting to come in. They walked through the entry and it's a old lady in a wheelchair. Oh, okay. And a man pushing it. Yeah. How old's the man? Oh, my age. Oh, okay. Roughly. You're a kid. Young yeah, man. like yeah. like us. Um <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just like pushing his hand And I was like, oh yeah, good bloke Good good grandson But then I looked up to see his hair On the Mullet man Oh, mullet. sick Thick mullet good. Thick mullet Good Stylish and young Bloody hell Thick mullet And they went over and asked one of the people who worked at the chemist They were like, oh, da da da, where do we go for this? And then like he like pushed her up to talk to him And then he pushed her away And then pushed her up to the counter to go chat And while she was going down the aisle She saw some things that she might like and she like kind of like put her hand out, which was really old and frail. <laughs> Just clearing them. <laughs> <laughs> there was some like betadine on the side where she was like reaching out, and then he like did like a three point turn to get her in there. She grabbed some betadine, and then she like and then he pushed her up to the counter and just waited in line. And I was like, "That's great to see." Yeah. You know? Like, is the elderly sometimes get neglected or like forgotten about by the youths of society? Yep. Y- yeah, you know, like. The youths have got some fun stuff going on. They're not always wanting to look after old Nan yep. who's in a wheelchair and needs mm-hmm. to go get a better Dean. But this guy was. And I thought it was really cool. It was out of character for someone, the stereotypical character for someone with a mullet. And I was just like, that's a good man. Yeah, I like that. And do you know what name I've given these two? Uh, mullet Man and Chemist Nan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of it in the fucking shop and I wrote it down and I was like, I'm onto gold here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this week, episode 47's Everyday Hero is going to Mullet Man and Chemist Nan. Yo! Proving that appearance and what what else would it be? It would be your, your appearance. Stereotypical. And your yeah, your stereotypical um, pigeonhole. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean that you cannot be an everyday hero. So there congratulations to Mr. Mullet Man himself for doing your due diligence and sorting out your nan, your episode 47, Everyday Hero. Just say it. March Madness is out right now. Go <laughs> go look at it. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna. <laughs> no, do it, do it. Because we're, we're putting it up tomorrow night. <laughs> we said this it's going up tomorrow night. We said no, it's going up tomorrow I night. I can leave this in. <laughs> we said this. I this is in the. We episode. said this last week and we didn't. <laughs> we didn't do it. We need a. Uh, anyway. Hey guys, hope you're watching the March Madness video <laughs> on YouTube now. It's it's up. It's live and it's ready for you to enjoy. All right, boys, that brings us to the end of episode 47 of the Mag Pack podcast. What an ep. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to sit next to the two of you. Before we finish things up today, we did get a, a message in um, on Instagram last night. We've had a. F- this was actually a sick message. When I read this, I was actually really surprised. Yeah, this is cool. We've actually been getting a lot of messages on like um, YouTube. You can do messaging on YouTube. What is it? <laughs> comments, comments on YouTube, yep. messages through Instagram in particular. Yep. And a few messages through TikTok as well, which I'm appreciating as yeah, well. So it. if you do see our shit um, and you enjoy it, fling us the message and we will either shout you out on the podcast or we'll just probably reply. We'll definitely reply. <laughs> we reply to everyone. Um, this one comes in in regards to our Magi, your MacPack. Miracle Back last week. Miracle, yeah. Uh, it comes in from Tanisha Bodger. Sorry, Tanisha Bodger. T. Um, T money. You might even uh, mispronounce your name <laughs> on the episode. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she sent through a message yesterday. <laughs> You've set me off. Um, she goes, hey, boys, love the potty. Thank you, Tanish. Um, I was just wondering. I was just watching your latest episode about the Maggie noodles. Is it Maggie noodles? We didn't find. She that out. spelled it Maggie like the name. <laughs> she spelled it like Maggie's, like the Simpsons character. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's about, I think you say it. Anyway, I, anyway, it doesn't um, I was in <laughs> fact the unlucky. So this is the you yeah, so had gotten. Multiple sachets of flavouring and oil and all that stuff. In multiple Must be nice. packets in a row. <laughs> yeah. well, and we, at the time, we addressed, we were like, I was playing devil's advocate and going, what about the poor soul who got one with no flavouring? Yeah. yeah. Well, we, turns out that was Tanisha. She, cause she goes, I was in fact one of the... The one unlucky person who didn't have any flavour sachets in my noodle packet. Fuck that. And it absolutely ruined my day. But to make things worse, it wasn't just the one packet... 
It was all five that didn't have Fuck any that. any flavor sachets in them. So she was just chewing on like plain noodles. I'm assuming. Which means us and many other families were getting getting the double <laughs> hit. And yeah. T was just cop- copping it. And yeah. you know, it's one of those things where it's like, sure, that sucks, but getting the double pack was pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, that'll probably do it for the episode. What do you reckon? There you go. Dance We've got piece. another big week at Jared's joint. Um, oh, yeah, looking looking forward to it. Good yeah. luck, boys. Maybe I reckon this week will be much better than yeah, last I think week. So, yeah, well. and we can do a probably much tighter segment this time next week. And we'll there we go. About it. Yeah, we can have more <laughs> more Beyblade chat next week. <laughs> <laughs> have you got much on this week? Uh, any any dogs uh, in your uh, uni shoots this week? Nah, no dogs. I, what happened to them? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Are they dead? <laughs> she <laughs> said, I bring them every week. It just hasn't bring them. Find out next week on the MacPack Podcast. Boys, it's been an absolute pleasure to sit next to you for episode 47 of the MacPack Podcast. It always is. Please remember to stay safe. Please remember to stay blessed. And always remember to... Go give your mama a hug. Chaffin' out, but not for it. <laughs> <laughs>